Congratulations, it's a boy. We are all excited to hear these four little words, but what comes next? To keep this precious bundle of joy healthy and happy requires a close partnership between the parent and the healthcare providers at your well baby clinic. Many childhood diseases are easily preventable but can have serious complications, including disability and death. So, how can we protect your baby together? When your baby is born in hospital, your doctor will examine your newborn and ensure that the birth vaccinations are given. At this stage, obvious abnormalities can be noted and sometimes corrected. Breastfeeding should be initiated as soon as possible after birth, within an hour of delivering your baby. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Every member of your healthcare team is there to help you and your baby. Most mothers visit the Well Baby Clinic for the first time when their baby is six weeks old. However, we encourage parents to bring in their newborns for a thorough checkup within two weeks of birth or at any point in between scheduled clinic appointments if there are any concerns about your baby's well-being. So I can see the baby was born six weeks ago. How? What was the weight? Uh, 3.2 kilos. Okay. Yeah, I can see the height was also 50 centimeters. Okay. How is the breastfeeding going? Our uh, baby is breastfeeding well. Okay. Yes. Any concerns about the breastfeeding? Uh, no. No concerns. No. Okay, that is good. So, how long do I need to keep bringing baby to the clinic? You'll need to bring in your child quite frequently for the next two years. Then after that, you'll be seeing the child to once every year till the child is five years. The childhood vaccination schedule continues until your child is 10 years old. However, older children and even adults may still need wellness services. For example, travel vaccines may be required to travel to certain countries, while vaccines against influenza and HPV, the virus associated with cervical cancer, are available for adults. More than 50% of deaths in children under the age of 5 occur in the first year of life, and of these deaths, many are due to preventable causes. Proper vaccination of all children is essential in reducing the number of these deaths. Your Well Baby Clinic will be able to give you more information on what vaccinations are available for your child. Can this injection hurt my baby? Okay, I can see your concern, but some babies may experience pain or fever or the pain of the in injection site, though most of it resolves within a few, a few hours. The baby may be a little irritable, but breastfeeding the baby during the, the vaccination session helps to soothe the baby. Uh, if it persists, you may need to see the doctor who will be able to see to examine the child for any side effects. Some baby-friendly vaccines can help reduce these short-lived side effects. Thank you, nurse. Is that all for today? You're more than welcome. Though this is not all for today, after I have done your weight and vaccination, I'll be able to send you to the pediatrician who will be able to do the six weeks review. So we want to see what is height was. I can see it was 50 above his legs here. This is height, which is 58 centimeters. Oh, he's growing well. And I can also just lift up his head a little. Okay. I'll be able to take his head back up. Thanks. This helps to just monitor the brain, how the brain growth is. Okay. To see that the baby and it's okay. He's at 40 centimeters. We are good to go. I'm just confirming that the temperature today is okay. Okay. Yeah, which is quite quite okay. 37.1. Yeah, yeah that way we are good to go. We can give you the vaccination today. Yeah? Bit cold, but otherwise it's okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, baby. Sorry. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, sorry, baby. Okay. Yeah.
Okay. So let's give this to Emilia. It is important for your child to be seen regularly by a pediatrician for checkups. The child's growth will be assessed based on what is expected for that age. For example, when your child is two months old, he should be able to hold his head up. If your child is developing a little slower than his age mates, help is available. For some conditions that start at birth, tests are available to detect them early and appropriate management can be started. Babies do well for the first six months with only breast milk. Water and other fluids are not necessary. This is called exclusive breastfeeding. Breast milk can be expressed and refrigerated for feeds when mother is away, for example when she returns to work. Don't be discouraged if at first you don't have enough milk to satisfy your baby. The more your baby suckles, the more milk your body will produce. Practice makes perfect. When weaning begins from six months of age, professional nutritional advice is available. Just like adults, your baby needs variety in her diet, with each of the basic food groups covered. Your baby still needs to be weighed regularly to make sure she's gaining weight adequately. We encourage you to ask questions concerning your child's well-being or your very own well-being. A happy, healthy, well-informed parent is essential for the growth of a happy, well-adjusted child. Please contact your healthcare provider for questions concerning immunization or any other services offered.